Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Steve Combs, principal at Lincoln High School. I want to talk to you today about the COVID vaccination clinic that's going to be held here on April the 6th. Um, before I do that, though, I want to give special thanks to um, Dr. Stewart and Good Samaritan Hospital for allowing our students and staff to, uh, to make it convenient for, for the students who want it and their um, and our teachers uh, to get the vac vaccine out here at Lincoln. That's Again, that's Tuesday, April 6th. A um, few things. There's a link that you can see here to the survey. I'd ask that um, if you hear this video, um, we need to get a, as accurate count as possible um, so the hospital knows how many vaccinations to bring out here. So the survey is available um, and if you do that, it really helps us. It really helps the hospital. We do not want to have either too many or too few um, doses out here for our students and, and staff to take. So please do the survey. Uh, second thing is this uh, vaccination clinic is open for students, um, our staff, people that work here at Lincoln uh, that are age 16 and older. Okay, and what I'm going to do in this video is hopefully walk you through how you register for that. Okay, you need to go to ourshot.in.gov, which is a website, O U R S H O T dot I N dot G O V, and that's where it all starts. Ourshot.in.gov. And the next thing that you'll do is you will either search for Good Samaritan Hospital or type in the zip code, okay? It's very important that our students register for the GSH uh, PVAX, P-V-A-X, because that's Pfizer. Uh, that is the vaccination that will be given um, to people at Lincoln on April the 6th is the Pfizer vaccine because it's the only one that is currently approved for individuals to 16 years of age. So you go to ourshot.in.gov. Next thing is you search for Good Samaritan Hospital or enter our zip code. And after that, you register uh, online through that portal. Now, I know it's gonna say choose a location and the location you're gonna choose is Good Samaritan Hospital. But just remember on April the 6th, the hospital is bringing the clinic out here for our students and staff. So it'll be at Lincoln. So you follow the Good Samaritan Hospital link for PVAX, which is Pfizer. We will here at Lincoln uh, for the students and their families, uh, for the students that signed up, we will call them out of class periodically. They'll go down, uh, take the shot and follow the very same protocols um, that they do at Good Samaritan, like when I got the shot on January the 2nd, students will wait in the gym for 15 minutes to make sure that there aren't any uh, reactions to the vaccine, and then after that, they'll be released to class. Good Samaritan Hospital then, three weeks later on April 27th, will be back at the same time. Again, we'll get those students out who, are, uh, who got the first shot and send them down to get their second shot. Now, question came up yesterday in our discussion uh, with the hospital. What happens if you're not here on the 27th? You can still schedule that second shot um, if you miss it here at Lincoln on the 27th with the hospital and go in and get the second shot. Remember, Pfizer takes two doses. And then after that, there's a waiting period um, of 10 to 14 days where the vaccine can take full hold. But I wanna stress that um, if your student decides to do this or you and your family decide to do this, if you think about it, by the middle of May, the students who have the, the uh, vaccine, if there were to be another outbreak, would not have to be quarantined. So that would be, I think, a, a reason that some families might take into consideration on whether or not they get the shot. Um, 
I want to give a special thanks again to uh, Dr. Stewart, Adam Thacker, and all of Good Samaritan Hospital for making this available. This truly is a community effort. Um, hospital doesn't have to do this uh, for us. It doesn't have to do it for our students. So it's awesome on their part, and thank you very much to those guys. Um, second thing is, if you have trouble registering, um, you can call 211. If you have some sort of internet issue, uh, you can call 211 and they will help you through the process of getting registered. Um, if you have questions for us, contact the VCSC helpline and we will get you the information that you need for that vaccination clinic. So just to kind of rehash, that clinic will take place from 9 to 12 here at Lincoln for our students and staff uh, who are interested 16 years of age and older. You go to ourshot.in.gov to register, and that needs to be done by April the 5th, by the end of school. We're not going to turn people away on April 6th that did not register. However, we can't guarantee how many vaccinations uh, or how, how much of that product we will have on hand. So we can't guarantee a vaccination shot on April the 6th if you don't pre-register. Um, that's something that, that's kind of important. The other thing that I would ask uh, students to do is to get online and do our survey. So we have a great number of uh, what we need to know to have vaccines on hand here. Um, we don't want to waste them. Uh, we also you know, don't want to take away from someone who, who needs that vaccine or who wants it um, based on the fact that we um, ordered too many. We can't let those go to waste, they're precious. Um, with that, I want to thank you uh, for listening. This is probably the longest I've talked in a YouTube video. I want to remind you of a few things, some good positive things that are going on. We had the vaccination clinic on April the 6th. We are going to have uh, prom, which downtown pavilion, the city has graciously allowed us to use that facility. Should be great. Uh, that has been allowed and approved by the health department. We're going to have a senior awards night this year on May the 10th. And of course, Graduation will take place May 21st. So we've got a lot of good things coming up here. The last nine weeks of school, um, you have the information on how to register for the COVID vaccine. You have the folks that you can call if you need help, 211 or the VCSC helpline. And again, uh, please fill out the survey. And um, if you're gonna get registered for the vaccination, you have to do that before April 5th at the end of school. And with that, I wish you all a very happy Easter weekend and nothing but the best for the rest of the school year. Thank you.